What's up, y'all? Hey, how's everyone's night going? It's getting late. Just left the gym. It is later than I wanted to go to the gym again, but that's how busy days go. What's up, Jamie? How are you doing? Hey, guys. Look, I am disgusting right now. Cool. But it is still 80 degrees at like 11 p.m. in Hollywood, so what can I say? Um, I'm not complaining. I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to hang out, walk around, but I'm going to put some stuff down first. Just got to my car after the gym, hence the sweatiness. Hi. What's up, y'all? Okay, let me put something in my car real quick, and then I'm going to go for a walk with you in downtown Hollywood. And if you're around and you see a strange person walking around talking to their phone, it's me. Come say hi. (laughs) How's it going? (laughs) Ah. So, um... I'm not gonna lie, not every day at the gym is beast mode, but today was beast mode. Like super, super serial beast mode. <laughs> um, I'm really bummed though, cause I didn't get to do deadlifts because I did them yesterday for leg day and I can't move my lower body other than walking. So those were out. <laughs> Uh, I did back today, so shoulders got a little bit of a pump too. That was cool. Um, Let's see. Where should I go? (laughs) Yes, I'm that strange person walking around talking to their phone right now, so if you guys see me, you can come say hello. (laughs) Do I work out every day? No, not every day. Um, I very strongly believe that recovery is more important. So you kill your workouts and you give yourself a lot of rest. It's a good post-workout meal. Um, You want a fast-absorbing protein, fast-assimilating, and a... um, simple carbohydrate. That's the perfect post-workout meal. Um, And I decided to sit down because walking and reading your questions is just not working out for me. So, whoo. Hi, guys. Uh, Do I want to make out? I don't know who you are. (laughs) Uh, Hello, Kentucky, Hollywood. What's up? Hey, you were on here the other day, I think. How's it going? So uh, we are talking about, thank you, I'm disgusting right now, but I appreciate it. Blah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Totally. Uh, Okay, you get to be blocked. And if anyone else has any comments like that, you get to be blocked too. Um, I know who Christine Bullock is, but I don't know her. Um, I have not met her, I just know of her. Um, but I hear she's cool. Is that true? I would love to meet her. Uh, post-workout meal, because it's kind of late. It doesn't matter. Um, your body doesn't know what time it is. It just knows that you just killed it in the gym and lifted heavy things and tore your muscle. So I will have lots of carbs and I will have lots of protein. So it doesn't matter what time it is. I will still get post-workout meal. So I, I am a believer that your first meal of the day and your post-workout meal are your most important and highest carb meals. So um, what other questions do you guys have? No, I don't take a pre-workout. I used to, and then um, I basically taxed my adrenals, so it turned out being not a good idea. <laughs> Banana and protein shake. That's a fantastic post-workout meal. It's kind of low-calorie, though. Is your protein shake 
higher calorie? What's a good protein for weight loss? Any protein. Um, but if you're asking in the terms of protein being a powder, then um, there are a lot of options. But as far as protein being a macronutrient, any protein is going to be good. <laughs> um, your body actually takes a lot longer to digest protein. So it actually increases your metabolism while you digest it um, versus carbs and fats. Um, fats actually take a while to digest as well, but carbs are very quick or fast digesting. So, um, guys, hey, good to see you. Fat burners. Um, I actually think fat burners are, um, well, it depends on the individual and it depends on the goals, but I only recommend fat burners if you've done everything else and you are in a healthy place and you are getting ready for a competition and it's the last few weeks. So that needs to be like the very final last resort. Um, you need to do everything else first. Sweden. Sorry, I'm interrupting myself because that is my heritage. I am Swedish and Scottish and a little bit of Norwegian. So hello, Sweden. <laughs> uh, hi. Okay, so I was talking about fat burners. I was talking about... What else was I talking about? You guys keep distracting me with your awesomeness. <laughs> 302, want to get down to at least 250. Okay, so I would recommend not starving yourself, um, but just get up and move all the time. Um, and then making sure that you are getting enough calories, but still less than you were eating before. And a really good way to do that without overthinking it is just changing out processed foods for real whole foods, lots of greens. Um, basically fill your plate with vegetables and then get a lean protein, a little bit of healthy, like complex carbs and some healthy fats. I know, right? Food is expensive. Eating healthy, unfortunately, is not cheap. Meal replacement drink. I mean, that's not a bad idea to cut calories, but at the same time, it's always better to eat real food so your body has the chance to, to break it down and digest it because that is going to actually burn more calories during than if you just had a shake. So, more questions. Guys, I usually charge $100 an hour for this, so just saying. I'm going to get off of here real quick, though, because i got to go eat. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you. Compliments are really sweet, especially because I am disgusting right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Small meals. That is a, that's a loaded question because it depends on the person. If you're a guy, you need bigger meals than women. So a small meal is going to be different. Use your hand. The palm of your hand without your fingers, that is the size of a portion of protein. Your palm with the fingers is the size of a portion of carbohydrates. And both palms together, which I can't because I'm holding my phone, but you put both your palms together and that's the amount of greens you should have in every meal. Actually, greens are pretty much unlimited, but that's a good rule of thumb. Um, <laughs> okay, what do I think about the waist trainer? Oh, my goodness. Um, honestly, I'm not a fan. Um, I think that... I, oh, man, I wouldn't do it. And that's only because I personally... Th this is just my opinion. I, I think that you should not put your body in a place that forces it to adapt to something it wasn't meant to do, if you will. Um, I'd say once in a while, just for, for fun, sure. But like as a permanent habit to train your waist, no bueno. It's no good for your organs, no good for your ribs. There's a lot of negative um, adverse effects of it. Look it up. Do your research. Um, <laughs> it's not good to crush your organs. Yes, exactly. I agree. <laughs> okay. Stop talking about boring stuff. What would you like me to talk about? Because this is a fitness periscope. 
pray the fat away. No, that doesn't work. I'm sorry. I mean, God can do anything, but come on. He also gives us the human willpower to go bust our butts and earn things like that. Like hard work is awesome. It has a lot of benefits other than fat burning. <laughs> I mean, I tend to think so. <laughs> but um, I used to be stronger. I used to have more muscle when I was training for figure competitions and I don't do those anymore. Um, I switched to bikini and had to lose some muscle to do that. And now I don't do, I haven't done a competition since nationals 2013, but now I just train for strength, agility, speed, stuff like that, like real athleticism. So guys, I appreciate all of this. I love you guys so much. Um, let me take one or two more questions and then I will bid you adieu and good night. I have to go shower and eat. Hi. <laughs> okay, question. Personal training inquiries. You want to go to causefitness.com backslash contact, or you can direct email me. That, that actually goes to my email too. Um, but you can email me at info at causefitness.com. Thanks, guys. One more question. Yes, I'm 5'7". Good guess. One, ooh, close. I'm closer. I haven't weighed myself in a long time, but I'm usually around 135, 140. But it's all muscle. <laughs> um, last question, and then I'm taking off. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, lean body mass. Um, ooh, here's one for you, and it's not because you asked. Um, I hear all the time that muscle weighs more than fat. And I think that is the silliest thing I've ever heard because one pound equals one pound, no matter what it is. <laughs> if you have a pound of salt, it's going to weigh the same as a pound of something else. It's a pound. But I will say this is where the mis misconception um, comes in. Muscle is denser than fat and so a pound of muscle is smaller and denser than a pound of fat. So a blobby pound of fat would look different than a tight, dense pound of muscle. So it's still a pound, but it's going to look different on you than a pound of fat. Does that make sense? You guys got it? Muscle is dense and small. So it's heavier in a smaller shape. <laughs> All right, y'all, go out there, cause fitness, um, tag me in your fitness and nutrition posts, and I will, um, yeah, let's talk on Twitter, too, because I'm on there and start conversations. You can ask me stuff on there, too, so um, Twitter is cause fitness. It's the same as Periscope, and I'm going to get hit with a car, so I'm going to go, but <laughs> y'all have a good night. Take care. God bless, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.